Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm working on my Creality K2 Plus, and I'm going to try upgrading the extruder. So let's go ahead and get started. So recently, I noticed on Amazon as I was looking into possible upgrades for my K2 Plus, I noticed that they now have extruder gears that are all metal. The gears that are in there, I believe, are plastic. And I've noticed that, at least in some of the posts online, people are complaining about those gears getting messed up and chewed up. I haven't experienced that problem, but I saw for $20 or with a coupon, I could get it down to, I guess, 20% off. So it's like 14 or 15 bucks. I could buy these all metal gears. So I thought, hey, let's go ahead and try and install on these and see how it works with my K2 Plus. So with that being said, let's switch over to my K2 Plus and get started. So before I get started working on the printer, I just want to point out that today I'll be assisted by my daughter's cat, Sweetie, who's decided that now whenever I'm recording or 3D printing, she wants to sit in here with me and watch. So with that being said, she'll be of assistance, probably knocking things down and making a mess of my workspace. So let me switch over to the printer and then we'll take a look at the extruder. So the first thing I've done is I took the filament system off the top, open up the top of the case, and then of course turn the printer off. So I want to do this with the power off. Now when I remove the case here or the, the cover or the extruder, I can loosen and remove the extruder but i found undoing the plugs is a bit of a pain in the butt so instead what i'm doing is i'm just going to remove the front part of the extruder here and that's two screws now hopefully i don't hit the hopefully i don't hit the camera or drop the screws so I'm just removing these and that way I can get to the gears inside. This is, of course, these screws are longer, so it's a little bit more difficult to get this out. So I did need to remove an additional screw. There's a screw over here on this side right here that needs to be removed. Once I do that, I can remove this piece and I have my gears right here. So let's take a look at those gears. The first thing I'm going to point out here is these gears already really do look gunked up and see if we can get this to come into focus. So they sort of look messed up. Now, here's what I received. So there is no direction. So I just need to figure this out. Now I'm taking out this gear. I'm just going to put that aside and then let's take out these other gears. And a piece did just fly across the room. So I need to figure out what actually just got launched across the room and then see if I can find it. So give me a second, I'll be right back. So the problem piece was this spring came out and that came out and that was right in, let me orient this correctly. It was right in here, right in this area. Now, one of the interesting things was there was no screw here holding it in. So, I mean, that of course is never good. So we're going to fix that by adding a screw. And if the screw wasn't in there right, I wasn't getting good tension on my filament. So that, that's a problem. Now, let's see what we need to do to get this installed. So one gear is out, next gear, so to get it out, all I simply need to do is really push it with an Allen wrench or an Allen key. So let's pull that out. So now I have the two gears out. Let's orient this right. So we have the two old gears out that are plastic. Put those aside. Let's get the new all metal ones out of the baggie. And both of these pieces look 
identical if I'm looking at this correctly. So both of them look identical. So let's just drop in the one and the other. We're just going to slip it in here. And let's make sure it looks like it goes like that. And we just need to put this piece back in the hole. Here in place. And we just need to push this through and I'm just using the desk. And let me move it over. So I've pushed that through. And then let's set this down and let's just make sure everything spins here before I put in the spring and the screw. So I'm just putting this in. Everything spinning looks good. So you could see that moving real well. Filament should fit right in the grooves here. It's all looking good now. I'm just going to put these aside, put the old gears aside. I don't want to throw those away yet. Now, I need to deal with that spring that came out. And so let me get that now. There it is. So the spring just going to sit in there like that. And let's push this down in the hole. Well, we got to hold it all together. This could be a little awkward. And let's tilt this in this way, maybe. Okay. Now we have the screw in there. Now let's see if we can figure out what size screw we could put in there. So I have the spring in, gears are all installed. I'm doing an M316 to hold the spring in place. And I chose that because the M316 would let me, if I tighten it all the way, the arm can't move. So I wanted something that I could actually stop the arm from moving. Right now, it looks like there's plenty of tension. And so let me switch back over to my printer and we'll reinstall the new gears. So I'm zoomed in on the other side of the extruder. I'm just going to slip everything in. I want to make sure this should actually snap all the way up. So I'm going to make sure it's flush against the back half of this. And I'm going to start with this screw on the arm here, which is the bottom right hand corner. This one was a little harder to get out. So now I'm tightening that. I want to make sure the everything still moves. Let's put in the other screw over here. So I'm doing the corners first. And then let's do this one screw over here on the side. And that should get us the extruder is all taken care of. And I think I'm going to switch out this screw for an M312 because that's really sticking out far. And I don't think it matters that much. So let me do that on camera so you just see I'm replacing it. It's one of those things where I, I don't like the way it looks. And I prefer this look correct. I'm really just have this screw in here to, it's not really adding tension. And if I need to add tension, I can put the other screw in. I think that's all right. And then let's put in, I'm going to reinsert the tube here. Now, let's put the top back on. I'm going to rehook up the filament change unit and then we'll feed some filament through make sure everything goes so that you can see that so let me switch things around get things replugged in and then we'll move forward so in order to run a test i'm just going to slice a patch for bed leveling 
just a small simple print. Let me send it to the printer and we'll come back in a second and just verify that this has extruded filament appropriately. As you can see, I've completed this test patch. And if you look carefully, it actually looks pretty good. I'm trying to get it to focus in. So that looks pretty good. So it looks like it's one, it's stuck to the bed, but also it looks like the filament's extruding properly. So that's the process I went through to update the gears in my extruder. Again, it cost me about $15 or $16. It did take a couple weeks to ship, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with this upgrade. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks and have a good day.